I could do these types of tricks easily in my sleep, dude. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day as always. It's all right because it's the homies, but what is up, guys? I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Today's video is not like the others. Today, we are not going to be riding my bike. I mean, we will be later in this video, but today we're not going to be riding my bike. Today, we are actually going to be riding a scooter, one of BMX's biggest, what is it? Rivals? Yeah, that. Biggest rivals is scootering. So today, as a BMX rider, I'm going to try to see what all the hype is about, if scootering is really that easy, or if BMX is harder than scooters. And uh, we're just gonna get into it and have Tony call us out some tricks. Speaking of, Tony is filming right now. Tony has a YouTube channel called Tony Fom Productions. Still, is it just Tony Fom? No, it's just Tony. Fahm. So really quickly, before we even get this video started, I want you guys to go subscribe to his channel right here. And he is also going to be letting me use his scooter today. So we're in for quite a treat. All right, how you been? Do you think scootering is easier than bikes? Bar spinning, yes, but uh, anything else I haven't really tried, but I really, definitely really can land bar spins on a scooter, but okay. not a bike. Certain tricks are easier. Word up. So before I even started riding bikes, I started riding scooters. I rode scooters for literally two months, maybe. And here and there at a skate park, if there's a scooter, I pick it up and I try doing a couple of things. So I already know a couple of basic tricks like tail whips and this, that, the third. We should be in for a treat. I'm gonna see if Tony can call me out some tricks to do. And uh, we're gonna get rowdy. We're gonna see if scootering's really that much easier. Yeah, I'm just here. I'm just representing scooters right now, you know? Just. <laughs> here you go. All right. The cut and glory. All right, so for anybody that it does scooter, what is this? Uh, well, this is pretty like custom for the most part. Well, fusion from here down, and then up here is just some steel bars they're uh youth gone wild i don't know it's doesn't right. really matter to you bike riders but it's okay. a fully fully custom scooter basically all right it's about how much is like the average bike like thousand thousand five hundred thousand yeah this is right around like 375 and money's not an issue <laughs> when tony just threw the scooter it landed directly in the mud so now we have to wipe it off I, dude, I don't have anything to wipe it off either. Money's not an issue, but uh, mud is. It is raining as well, so this session's gonna be limited. I'm calling myself off to maybe four or five tricks. You think? Four or five tricks to get Two it. of them better be a good good tricks. Okay. How does this make you feel that I am now a scooter rider? You're not a scooter rider. You wish you were on a scooter, because you can't even catch up to me. <laughs> Shut up. All right, so I think how we're gonna do this, Tony's gonna show me some scooter tricks to do. And uh, I'm just gonna attempt them. I know a little bit about scooters, I know a couple tricks, but Tony here, he's he's the uh, he's the man with the plan. Yeah, are we starting out easy, or are we? All right, let's, show let's you, like... first trick. Let's start out easy, and uh -huh. then we'll jump it up. Okay. Okay. Double it. Yeah, double it. Okay. What what would you say that's equivalent to on a bike? Uh, 180. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'd say so. Getting real wet. Ground's getting a little slippery. Last time I tried riding a scooter when it was wet. Then I'm good. Oh. So it's scary because it's wet. Sorry, just a classic snake. Woo. Drop the f mic too. All right, I'll step it up then a little bit. All right, I'm not gonna. I got, I got, I got something up my sleeve. Tony's kind of nervous. He wants to make it seem like scootering's harder, but what you got? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just do that, but land it. <laughs> okay. How, what, what's the motion for this? So there's a tail whip and then there's a heel whip. So you do heel whip first and then tail whip. Heel whip and then I go like that. All right, two more tries and we'll just end it. And then you bring it up here and then it just comes back So it's down. like a little flick of the wrist. Yeah, it's all, it's all the wrist. All right, one more try. Okay, all right. That's hard, that trick's hard. Okay, I'll give it you there. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even want to do any tricks because I fucking ate it. That's the difference. That's the difference between uh, scooters and bikes. Is this this urethane rubber stuff? It's so slippery. As soon as there's any drop of water. All right. So how about we uh, switch it over? Just call me out to do some tricks. Let me see you try just just for the fun of it. You know what a bri flip is, right? Yeah. Can I see you try one on the quarter? I'll, okay. I'll do one actually. <sighs> Sketchy. All right, so for the people at home that ride scooters, I'm doing it really low just because I'm really scared because it's like wet. So don't judge me. 
Okay. It looks, like I'm basically, my... if you can, you can get away with it if you just do a big towel whip. So it's if you think of it just as like a, like a big, big towel whip like that. Okay. Somewhat. Right. If I think of it like that, I think. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty nervous. I really don't want to smack myself in the back of the head, but you know what? If it's for the sake of content. Okay, I think he did this. Like that. I hate this kid. Okay, this one's for uh, Davy Jones Locker. This is due to a training. Oh my god, dude, that feels like I'm gonna do a flip. Feels like I'm gonna get stuck and flip on accident. All right, one more try. It may seem like I'm not putting in effort. I actually am. It's just wet. Oh my god, dude, I'm gonna flare on accident. Holy shit, that's hard. So obviously this is harder than you expected. So I'll bring it down even even more. Uh, I got one for you. What's up? I'll do it for I'll do it first, and then you copy me, okay? Okay. Just two dudes scootering. <laughs> <laughs> you you do like bar spins are easy for you on a bike, right? Yeah. So it's it's just like should be second nature to you, right? We're just gonna bar spin over the A frame. Are you serious? Yeah. Guys, I'm trying to hold it down for the BMX community, but uh, I'm gonna hold it down. Later tonight, can you lay it down? No. Well, actually, <laughs> in the spirit of this video. <laughs> I know my limits, and this is something that's past my limits. This is gonna be good. I'm actually really nervous. Doing this for Thadiana. It's difficult, these bars are just so short. Yo, on bikes, they're so much easier because there's so much rotational weight in the front, it just carries a bar spin for you. This is like you just... Okay, that's easy, that's easy, I got this. Tony, I don't know about that. All right, we gotta do it, we gotta... Okay, okay. I could do this on my bike in my sleep. I could probably bar it flat on a bike. Think of it like it's a bike. Oh, I found the key. I gotta think of it like it's a bike. I gotta think of it like it's a lightweight bike. Fuck. Scootering is more exhausting than riding bikes. I'm gassed. I landed that. <laughs> it's just not so easy, dude. It looks easy, but it's not. I don't think I could do it. Oh, there you go. Did you see that steez? Did you see it? That's a lot more difficult than I thought. All right, can we bring it somewhere that's not that hard? So similar to BMX, all the grind, all the grind tricks are basically the same. So feeble is the exact same on a scooter, Smith, okay. all that. So we'll just do feeble first. Feeble is the easiest scooter grind there is, and okay. then Smith. So I'll do feeble and then Smith. The normal, the normal way to do it. Your toes are pointing opposite the ledge. Okay. Okay. So this is the feeble. I think I could do that. Honestly, I think I could get this pretty easily. I'm a bit badass. Badass? I don't think anything's badass on a scooter. <laughs> It's weird because I can't like lock into it. Like bikes you have pegs, you can lock into grinds like this. It's just a flat deck. Cool. Hey. I like that. Feeble, like feeble 270 almost. I like that. Will you take that more? Let's do, we'll do like flat tricks. You want to do flat oh, stuff? please. Okay. This is where my roots began with BMX, so. Grab the old scoop, scoop, bang, bang. So back when you used to ride scooters, I remember you were really good at these, so let's see if you still got it. We'll do 180 whip. Okay. I remember I used to be good at half cab tail whips. Not 180 tail whips, but I think I could I think I could do it. Oh god. I'm starting to sweat. Okay. You quit because it was too hard? I quit because I learned tricks so fast. To a point where like the next tricks were like bry flips and inwards and sh I don't want to do those. Those are hard. But I was back in like preteen years, so I gotta go fast. I gotta haul ass this trick. I think that's the key. Give me my fing cheddar. Woo! With the wedgie. Holy shit. Alright, I got one for you. Okay. How about we do like a 180 off of this? Yeah. How does it make you feel that I am a professional scooter rider now? You're not. I am though. Okay. I think I got that. I spin opposite on a scooter than I do a bike, so this should be weird. 
Same with, same with tail whips and like every other trick. It's opposite on a scooter. I can do these types of tricks easily in my sleep, dude. <laughs> All right, we might have to retire that. We might have to retire that. You get a good shot of the nose? Yeah. It's come that point in the video. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna surprise Tony. We're gonna see what I can do just off the top of my head real quick. I just went hard for about five minutes right there, stacked three clips, back to back with all techie stuff. I'm gonna call that my banger because that was, that was real hard for me. I haven't used this lens in a while. Tony, how do you think I did? Four out of 10. Four out of 10? Yeah, it was a little rough. <sighs> okay. So really quickly, I want you guys to go down below in the comment section, leave a comment if you think I did well on a scooter, if you think I didn't. Let me know if you guys wanna see more scootering content. Let's. Just let me know, leave a comment down below. So with that, if you guys haven't renewed this channel, if you guys have not pressed subscribe yet, I want you guys to go down below and press subscribe. I'll be giving more depth and more of a recap later in this video. We got another homie rolling up right now, but I'll be giving a more in-depth detail and more uh, description later on, but uh, for right now, I'm gonna pack up the bike and head home. Is scootering easier than BMX? And well, my answer is no. It's not easier than BMX. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this short and simple. My throat is killing me. It feels like there's a thousand needles going at it at once. No pun intended. But personally, I believe every sport has its range of difficulty that you, you, wow, that hurts. Which basically means in my eyes that every sport pretty much has the same difficulty until you get into bigger and better things, if you get what I'm saying. So my final analysis is that when you ride scooters, the first couple tricks are really easy. It's really easy to get into, which is why a lot of little kids get into it, which is why a lot of people convert from BMX to scootering or from roller skating to scootering or from ripsticking to scootering. But the first couple tricks in scootering is pretty easy and I think everybody here can vouch for the fact that once you learn a trick, no matter what it is, it's very satisfying. It's it's an accomplishment. It makes you feel good in the heart. With other sports, kind of like rollerblading, I'm not sure if it's harder or easier. Same thing with skateboarding or BMX, is that the first couple tricks are a little bit more difficult. I'm not sure if it's the same. Of course, I'm speaking on my part of BMX. The first couple tricks when you get into BMX is like bunny hops, 180s, 360s, simple stuff like that. And those are way harder, in my opinion, than scootering is. And with a tail up for scooters or like a bar spin for scooters or like a heel up for scooters, it's a little bit easier because it's not that much effort compared to as a bike. So because the first tricks in scootering are relatively easier than BMX, I think that's why a lot of people would rather scooter than BMX and scooters are smaller, lighter, more compact, more easier to carry around and there's a lot more skate parks probably around you, same thing with me, that allow scooters and not bikes. But that's not the argument here. Anyways, when you get into bigger and better tricks with scootering, I believe it levels out with BMX. Um, the first couple of tricks. <coughs> Like I said, the first couple tricks in scootering are easy, but when you get into bigger and more difficult tricks, it kind of levels out with any other sport. With BMX, I would literally equivalent a 180 to like maybe a double whip, or a 360 on a bike to maybe a triple whip on a scooter, or something like that. So it levels out with BMX after you get into more serious scooter tricks. Now in difference with BMX and scootering, scootering trick lists are a lot different than BMX, although a lot of the tricks that you can do on a scooter, you can't really do on a bike. So the trick list is way different and more versatile and have more of range of motion than a BMX. So the BMX, your trick lists are like 180 bar spin tail whip, our trick lists are very small compared to the scooter world. And a very uncommon thing on a bike compared to a scooter is that flips. Not a lot of people just can throw flips on a bike that easily. With scootering, a lot of people can flip. It's like one of their beginner tricks. Like a backflip is a beginner trick to the scooter world. <laughs> Anyways, it's a different trick list. It's a way different sport. So I think it levels out with BMX after you get into it a little bit more. Let me know what you guys think down below because this is a debate that has been going on for quite a long time, ever since scootering came out. And I can just vouch for myself that throughout this video, scootering was, it was easy. It was easy in my opinion because I was just doing beginner stuff. You know, stuff that you just do as a beginner on a scooter. You know what I'm saying? But of course if it came down to it to more serious tricks like a bride flip, kickless, kick flip, whatever it is, probably would have started struggling really bad. But 
Anyways, with that, guys, let me know what you guys think down below. If scootering is easier than BMX. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please go down below, leave a fat like and fat share and fat subscribe. I really appreciate, really appreciate. <coughs> and with that, guys, don't forget to share the friends, share the homies, share the dogs, share the cats, share the friends, hi mom, and share with your uncle Bethany. And I will see you guys in the next video where I have no idea what I'm gonna give you do, but I'm gonna do it. But I can't, I can't do this right now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bust down, Tatiana. Bust down, Tatiana. I wanna see you bust down. Pick it up.